Uh, that's correct. Uh, there's some debate over when he was born, but based on what I've been able to determine on his movements, uh, he was probably born in 1890, so he, he would have been about 34 at that time. How big was Vietnam in the 1890 to 1920 era? Uh, physically, you mean? Uh, physically and population. Mm-hmm. Uh, the total population perhaps at that time may have been about 15, 14, 15 million. Uh, in terms of the size of the country, it, uh, at that time it wasn't even a country. It was divided up into three separate sections by the French. Uh, two sections uh, were technically under the authority of the Vietnamese Imperial Court, although under French uh, protection. And the southern part of the country was actually a French colony. So there literally was no Vietnam at that time. How did the French get control? How did they manage to take it over? It was part of the, it was part of that thrust outward uh, of European capitalist countries in the 19th century when they were looking for uh, cheap raw materials and markets. And the French had been involved uh, in Indochina for 200 years, primarily uh, Christian missionary work. So when the British began to penetrate into Burma, uh, to the west, and of course there was a great interest in the China market at that time. The French felt in a competitive manner that they needed to build their own colony in the area, and they looked upon Vietnam and neighboring Laos and Cambodia as their best opportunity. We have another picture from 1924 after leaving Moscow for South China. Mm -hmm. What were the circumstances that uh, he looks a lot different here than he did in that other picture? He does, doesn't he? He looks very serious uh, and somber and it looks like a different hairdo. Uh, he, uh, he had gone to, to Moscow in 1923 at, at the invitation of the Soviet leadership, and they, they wanted him to, to perform in Moscow basically as a kind of token Asian. Uh, they're not treating him entirely seriously, but just having him there as a kind of symbol of the fact that uh, the international communist movement uh, had its objective to help liberate the colonial people. And he stayed there in training and uh, working at the Communist International Headquarters for a while. And uh, then he became very impatient and he said, I need to go back and help uh, organize my people and build a communist party in, in Indochina, as the French call their territory there. And he had to, uh, he literally had to plead for permission to go back, not to Vietnam where he would have of course, been, uh, at that time he would have been under arrest, so he went back to South China and created the first revolutionary movement out of the emigrate community living there. So that's one of the pictures that, that was probably taken around that time. How often was he married? Uh, interesting question. Uh,